What you guys got another video here for you now every now and again you get problems with windows especially windows 10 and you have to reinstall windows 10 it's unavoidable uh, but the problem is people then have to obviously back up all of their data now there's quite a few ways of backing up your data but a really quick way of backing up your user profile which is what is stored in your documents pictures music downloads and all this other good stuff is very quick and easy to do also your browser um, bookmarks and things like that and uh, your emails all this can take some time to back up and keep into one place now there is a program that you can use which a lot of pc repair techs use on a daily basis it's called fabs auto backup and this one's fabs auto backup 7 pro it's one of the latest versions and what this is going to allow you to do is back up all of your data on that computer now yes you can do this manually and there's loads of other ways of doing it but it can be a bit cumbersome this makes the whole process a lot more easier and makes it quick and easy to do now it's not um, free but if as a PC repair tech if you're doing this on a daily basis then this piece of software is a must-have better kit it really does speed up the process and it makes the backup and reinstall so much quicker and uh, of course as a home user you might not see the benefit of buying this because you might only use it once in a while but as a PC repair tech you're definitely going to be using this on a regular basis but if you are one of those people that find this price pretty reasonable and you don't really mind then by all means go ahead and do so and buy it because it does back up all your personal folders as you can see here all your web browsers and all the information stored in those web browsers all of your mail it does all of these mail clients here as you can see Mozilla uh, also Microsoft Outlook Express Mail, a bunch of different ones here as you can see go through EM client loads of different types Microsoft Office password managers it also does all of your miscellaneous stuff here as well so you can see it does quite a bit of stuff uh, of backing up and it's done with this little uh, user profile uh, backup here is very simple and easy to do so let me show you how it works so this is the actual software here and uh, all you need to do here you've got your PDF up here you've got a little uh, technical support area for your forum and of course you've got your language here which means you can change the language to suit your needs I'm going to leave mine on English and you get your updates uh, from this location here you can update you can also run this from a pre-installed environment which is a live CD uh, which allow you to boot up to that if the PC is not bootable you can boot up to that and also uh, back up all this data uh, using this method I've been using that method for quite many few many years and it's very very easy to use now you can also back it up this way as well you can also transfer data restore data and backup so let's go ahead and look at the backup area here and you can see we've got the select source hard drive so you can see it's selected the C drive here also got select the Windows directory it automatically does that for you it's selected the account now mine's called administrator yours might be called whatever and if there's more than one user profile here you can tick which ones you want to back up next up you've got your backup location which is um, your area where you want to back up all your data to now this could be for instance an external drive or something like that they can back up in a subfolder as well and all you need to do here you can see that we need to select our location I'm going to select this backup drive here and there you can see we've got um, E drive here now you can also put this back up into a subfolder if you want to it's entirely up to you all you need to do now now we've got all this selected is go to next and then this will move on to the next stage of the backup process you just let that go through like so and it will start to load up it does take a bit of time so be patient so once that's done what you're going to have here is your user data folder this is your desktop my documents music videos downloads pictures and so on your desktop wallpaper will be saved 
And of course, all you need to do here is come down and you look at the selection to what you want to back up. So for instance, if you've got more than one browser on here, it will start to back up that stuff. So you can see we've got web browsers here. I'm just going to come through here, Microsoft Edge Favorites, and you can see it's already detected Oprah there, uh, profile, it'll back that up. And then if you add Outlook on here, it would automatically detect that, but you can see it's not defound it because it's not on the system. If it was, it would be detected here and you can choose what you want to back up from there or any other type of mail client. So you've got all these other areas here as well. So once you've got all this done, you move on to your public data and your extra files and folders, and you can add in additional folders. So you might have a folder hidden somewhere on the drive that you want to back up. And you can also do that. So you can select an extra folder to copy across. Okay, so very simple. So if you had a folder inside here, say it was this one, so you had that, you can see be patient and it will start to put that folder into the backup process, just like so. If you don't want to do it, you can take that tick out and it will undo. Very simple. So that's if you've got extra uh, stuff that you want to back up and you've got your additional files here and you just put ticks in this stuff. Onto the optional items here, you can exclude files by type and you can also exclude folders as well. And you can just put in what you want to exclude. So if you don't need the download section, you can actually just go, I'll exclude that. And it will exclude copying that data across. Very simple. Once you're done, you just then click next. And it will then tell you the information here. So we've got our backup location, tells me how much space I've got free on that drive and again it tells us what we're actually going to be backing up here now also down here it says do nothing when finished and you can also play a sound and also we can shut down the computer when finished email and so on and so on so you don't have to be around uh, when you want to uh, do this you can also show the total size before you copy if you want to do that and it will tell you what the total size is if you want to do that of the data that's being copied across. So if you want to do that, you can do. Next up, you've got this here, which says, if files already exist, ask me what to do. And you can also keep both of them, but rename the current file, keep the newest, overwrite them or skip them. It's entirely up to you what you do there. Also down here, we've got this uh, use VSS slower, uh, but files in use can be copied across, keep uh, folders slower uh, keep folders dates and stuff like that that's slower again if you want to do these you can do i'm going to take these out for this video for quickness and again this will pop up a little box here telling you how much data is going to be copied across before you go ahead and do it so next up we just need to hit uh, launch and this will then go ahead and copy the data across okay so that's now uh, copying the data across now if you've got any sort of uh, files on here are the same you can see it's because we put it as ask me what to do we can actually say keep both and rename the current file keep the newest overwrite or skip you can apply this to all and put the tick inside here and then you can say keep both but rename the current file if you want to and it will then continue and start to copy that across so that's all you need to do here so you can see it's starting to work away now I'll just let it do its thing and it will copy that across and it will tell you exactly the amount of size to copy across here. Now, while that's copying across, if we check the folder here and check our drive, you'll see there is a folder that's now been created on there. And this will be all of the data that's being copied across here, the archive. You can see here is putting all this information across. And that will take a bit of time. So you just let that do its thing. And eventually when that's completed, uh, you will be able to then uh, restore this at a later date. 
So that is basically the uh, backup done. And of course, if you want to uh, restore that, you can do by just going back into the program and hitting the big restore button. And uh, basically that's it. So you can uh, back up and restore your data. So you can back up and restore your data just uh, as it was when you've uh, formatted your machine. It will look exactly the same with your data in the same place. Of course, you won't have your program files there. They'll be gone, but of course you can install those at your own leisure. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one's been useful and helpful to you. I'll leave the link in the video description. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Take it easy, guys, and stay safe. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.